Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get and use this Arsenal script UI with so many features. Enjoy. Alright guys, so once you're in the script link in the description, you should see this page and of course you're going to want to copy the script. Then you guys are going to want to load into your game and take your executor and as you can see right there, today I'm going to be using Synapse. Synapse does cost $20 but you guys can get a chance to get it for free and all you need to do is leave a like. Be subscribed down below and comment something nice and do that until we hit our subscriber goal, which right now is 70k. So once we hit 70k, I will be giving away 7 keys plus 1 extra key just for my members. So if you're trying to enter that too, just click on the blue join button down below. But anyways, if you guys don't want to do any of those giveaways, you can also use a free executor like Omega X in the last link in the description. But let's attach Synapse. Let's paste the script that you guys copied from the script link in the description and then execute it. And once you guys have executed the script, you should see this in the middle of your screen and then you're going to want to do copy discord link and join the creator's discord. All right. So once you got the key, you're going to paste it and then submit it. And once you guys have submitted the key, it should load up the GUI as you can see right here. So we have plenty of features you guys will see. So we got combat, FE knife changer, non fe skin changer, visuals, local player stuff, miscellaneous, chat spammers, credits, and the theme. So let's start off with the credits and info so you guys can check it out all here. This is all the people that contributed something towards the GY. And you can also just, you know, join the Discord and check it all out there. But anyways, you can look here first. But let's first check out our combat section, all right? Why not? Why not? All right, so we got silent aim to start off with. So I think all you do is just click on it and now you got it on. So if you look on the bottom right, it says boo. Yeah, that is scary. Anyways, uh, yeah, so pretty much all you're gonna do now is just kill people, right? Uh, it has a pretty big FOV from what I can tell, but honestly, you guys can test it out and check it all out. It works pretty well, obviously, you know, it's 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 a silent aim. I don't know what else you guys want. And it kills people, it, it headshots them, you know, it shoots them, <laughs> and you get and you get a win. So I don't know what else you guys want from this. Oh my gosh, that guy survived way too long. All right, so let's move on to the next section, which, or not the next section, but the next feature, which is silent aim with wall bang, which is now just silent aim with wall bang, as it literally says. So now you just got wall bang. Uh, I don't know why I'm lagging, but anyways, we got wall bang with our silent aim. So now this is kind of like a owl hub vibes, you know, guys, uh, if you, if you're here long enough for owl hub, owl hub was great, <laughs> but now we got plenty of other better replacements. But anyways, as you can see, it works pretty well. And People are probably going to start leaving soon because they, you know, this is pretty, this is pretty crazy. Anyways, though, let's move on to our gun mods. So you turn it on and first off, it has infinite ammo. So pretty sick. And I'm pretty sure it also has no recoil. Uh, then again, you can't really tell if you have, you know, wall bang and silent aim with like a thousand FOV. So yeah, I can't really tell you, but let me actually try to turn it off which I'm pretty sure you can't. So just keep that in mind, guys. If you turn on like silent name or something, you're going to have to leave the game if you want to change it. Anyways, though, we also have aim lock. So if silent aim isn't your style, you know, you can use a hard aim lock, you know. So pretty much you turn it on and I suppose. Oh, yeah, you right click and it locks on. Oh, my gosh. What is going on? What? It was kind of like it was confused. It was like, what do I lock on on? And it's like. Okay, so just make sure you have somebody in front of you guys once you're locking on, right? Just so you don't confuse it like I was doing. So it's pretty sick. Uh, it's kind of laggy because I have so many things executed, which I don't recommend, by the way. So if you guys are going to use this UI, probably don't turn on like all the features at the same time because it will cause some stability issues, as you can see right now. Uh, I will re-execute the GUI into a new game after this because it is obviously laggy a little and I don't want you guys to sit through this with lag. So anyways, as you can see, the hard lock, it's a hard lock. It works pretty well. You know, it locks into their head. I don't know what else you guys want. My uh, my hands are off and it's on his head. Let's see. If, oh my gosh, that's sad. Come on, don't die like that. <laughs> my, my mouse isn't even on the table, you know? I got that. 
I don't know, what did I get? You know, the the tableless shot, I guess, you know? Uh, you also have Triggerbot, and if you guys don't know what Triggerbot is, it's pretty much something that makes peop makes you shoot the moment you see someone. So with your silent, with your trigger bot and your silent aim, it's pretty much just gonna like put on a kill loop, pretty much, you know? It's just a really overpowered feature, but it does take the fun out of clicking the shoot button. So I don't know, maybe you guys do wanna use it, maybe you don't, but let me re-execute the GUI and I will show you the eat to kill all, the kill aura, and the rest of the stuff. All right guys, so let's continue. So we got our E to kill all. I just turned it on and we're gonna click E. And we just killed all. We killed everyone in the spawn. So we didn't get too much of a good effect, but we did kill everyone, which was five people surprisingly. Let's do that again. All right, I think we got like four people. Yeah, four people. So it works, you know, you can kill all. Why is everyone just clumped up like this? What is going on? <laughs> I'm killing everyone legit. What? These guys are so bad. Anyways, uh, I'm, not, I'm not better, but you, you, got, you guys get it, right? So it works, it works pretty well. Oh my gosh. It's always such a nice sight to see, you know, of a bunch of those red headshots. So that's pretty cool. But we also have kill aura. So uh, that should kill anyone if I go near them. This is much easier if you have walk speed or something like that, guys, but it still works as you can just see because I just killed that guy with 400 damage. I didn't know it did that much damage, but I didn't know it did a lot. Anyways, though, all you need to do is get close to your enemy and it will almost instantly kill them. So where is our enemies? I went over here because I thought they were going to spawn in there, but I guess they're not. Uh, let's go back here. And let's hope, come on, don't die, don't, don't die. No, everyone keeps dying, they're all so bad. Okay, there you go, we got one person, we got two people, we got, we got two people, we got three people. So, that's the kill aura. Pretty cool, you know, nothing crazy. Definitely recommend turning on walk speed if you're gonna use it though. Anyways, let's move on to our FE knife changer. I already showed you this in another video, guys. It's just a knife changer, you know, you click, and pretty much what I'll do is respawn you, and now you got your special knife. And other people see this, so that's pretty cool, you know. And it also has some pretty cool kill effects. I definitely recommend you guys try out these, you know, knives, uh, if you haven't already. But like I said, I did make a video on it. Oh my gosh, I literally have like effects. I can jump higher. So that's super sick. And the fire sword, I know this, it actually sets you on fire. So that's a pretty cool, like perk you know anyways not doesn't say you on fire but sets other people on fire right i don't think you want to get set on fire anyways it's pretty cool and i definitely recommend you guys check it out i'm not going to show you all of them because i've already shown you them in a different video but you know they exist so i'll just show you two of them to the non fe skin changers so we got a bunch of stuff so we got like the monkey skin and we can you know we got the monkey skin like i said once again i've already showed you this already in another video with a different ui and all right guys so let's move on to the next options which are the visuals so first off we have esp pretty classic boxes you know this is what i like guys you guys know this boxes are my favorite you know they're super easy to use super simple nothing crazy it's just a box okay so this is why i like boxes this is why i always say i like boxes the most you see your teammates and your enemies obviously so you have that you also have champs and if you guys don't know what champs is it pretty much shows you the player like model through the wall so you guys can know like which direction they're facing and stuff like that it's mostly just to look cooler but it does have a little bit of a point anyways we also have skeleton esp which is pretty much champs except it shows you the skeleton so it's just smaller lines you know it's not their whole body but it's just the skeleton it's just thin lines going in like in the middle of them so you can see where they are it's pretty much champs but skinnier skinnier champs uh and lastly you got tracers you guys know what tracers are it traces them so uh once again you guys know i don't like tracers i like boxes and everything else way more but you know you guys can use whatever you like anyways though that's all for the visuals, so let's move on to our local player. So for our local player, we got a few options. So we got invisibility and god mode, which once you turn it on, it's gonna turn on both. So make sure you on both on at the same time. So let's turn that on. 
and now we're invisible and we have God mode on. It's pretty crazy, uh, but I guess it's fun to troll around, you know, pe you people can try to kill you, but they won't be able to, and they'll be so confused. I've had those moments before, but anyways, that's those are those features. Let's move on to our next option, which is fly. Uh, which it flies <laughs> you guys know this fly is pretty classic and pretty cool So you guys can like uh, you know silent aim people I don't have silent aim on as you can clearly tell but you you know You can turn on silent aim and shoot people through the sky if you really want uh, Now the reason I'm not turning on silent aim is I'm gonna have it on for the rest of the time And I don't want that I've, so I'm just not gonna turn on silent aim right now But maybe you guys can you know if you want to use it you also have infinite jump, which lets you jump infinitely. Let me show you that. Guys, infinite jump lets you infinitely jump. So every time you click space, it will go more and more up. So it's pretty cool because you can do that really quickly. You can look really legit. So like, let's see, you're just walking around and the next second you can jump up to the, this pier right here, like this balcony, for example, which we can't get on. But for example, you know, you can really quickly adjust your stuff, unlike fly. Fly is really obvious, but infinite jump, you can kind of hide it. So if you guys are playing semi-legit, you can use infinite jump. Uh, we also have RTX, which will add like a little bit of like a shader kind of effect onto our game. So you guys can check that out. I will show you that last. D hop, which will pretty much just turn up your walk speed a little and let you hop. So pretty much it's just gonna make you hop, you know. B hop, you guys know what B hop is, and it's just gonna turn that on in Arsenal. We have our miscellaneous section, so we got rainbow gun. You guys know, you see you see it. <laughs> it's a rainbow gun, you know, literally. So I've actually not seen too many like GYs do this type of like texture, but I think it's pretty cool, so you guys can check that out. You also have redeem all codes, which will redeem all the codes in Arsenal. You got FE sunglasses, which will give you these, these sunglasses if you want, I guess. So it's, I guess it's cool. You know, you got some sunglasses and no one else got these sunglasses. You also got annoy all, which will annoy the server. You got free ban, which will ban you. I don't recommend doing that unless you want to get banned. You have x-ray, which will turn on x-ray and make it so you have kind of visibility through walls. It's kind of a weird option, but you guys can try it out. You also have a ban menu. Uh, you also have a moderation locker. So you can also get the ban hammer, I'm pretty sure, but you do need a mop. So if you guys don't have the mop knife, then you can't get the ban hammer. This is non FE, it's only for you. So, you know, whatever. It looks cool, okay, if you guys have it. I don't have the mop on this account, so I can't really show you that. So let's move on to the next section, which is chat spam. So we're gonna put in something, subscribe to Sockpot, okay? We can put in caps, and then we turn on chat spam, and now it will start spamming in chat, okay? And I think that's pretty much all for this UI. Let me show you guys the RTX, so let's turn it on, and it will do this, you know? It tries to do a little bit of a shaders, sometimes it doesn't work that well, but this is what it is, all right, guys? You kind of have like a really yellowish kind of filter, I guess. Uh, it does have like shadows, which is kind of cool. Like, yeah, you know, shadows, you know? Anyways, I don't know. You guys can test it out. Uh, maybe you got to turn up your, you know, visual settings. Mine are all the way up, but I don't know. You guys can test it, test it around. There are so many features for this UI, and this video has gone on for way too long, but so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below. Remember, we are trying to hit 70K, and once we hit that, we will be doing the Synapse X giveaway, and all you needed to do to enter is leave a like, be subscribed down below, and comment something nice. You can also become a member, just like all these guys right here did. So thank you for becoming a member, guys. You will have a chance to get one of the keys for Synapse, and of course, you're helping me do more Synapse giveaways in the future, so thank you. And thank you guys for sticking along until the end of the video, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys. Thank you.